glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints and he saith unto me right Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Revelation 21, 
verses 1 through 5. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. I thank you, Father and Mother Divine.
Father, I thank you, Father, to hear a few of your words. Father says, Upon this conviction, Christ married his church. I know you are God. That is something to know, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> that declaration to those who are conscious of it is far reaching. It is deeper than the depth, higher than the height broader than the width of all creation, for it is in God himself, mm. infinitely eternal in heaven. I know you are God. If this little conviction can be established in the minds and the hearts of the children of men, every problem is solved for them. I know you are God. Those few little words, having been spoken by inspiration through your conscientious and sincere conviction, actually solves your problem. It is the mystery. You have heard me speak of the kobolds and of the shepherds, how we passed over the mountainside hundreds of times. Mentally and spiritually, yea, psychologically, you have visionally gone back to the Mount of Transfiguration passing there many times. Mm -hmm. Can you not see the mystery? Mm -hmm. Passing over the mountainside many times while you are trying to drive your flock in. <laughs> the flock of your sheep, mentally and spiritually, passing over the same mountainside that Jesus was transfigured on. Wonderful. Can you not see the mystery? passing along there psychologically, mentally, and spiritually, and the very mystery was revealed when you get it and reiterate as though you catch it from the ether and say that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Even if you speak to the sonship degree, even though you are not conscious of the mystery, you are speaking of me. And if you have advanced mentally and spiritually and scientifically and speak to the fathership degree, you are still speaking to me. In the sonship degree, Simon said, I say that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. In the fathership degree, Mother said, I know you are God, and so did Mr. B and many others. But stressfully it was stamped in their likeness and in their memory and in the memory of others concerning the two just in question. As a sample and as an example for others, though it was the same as in the sonship degree. But this time they said, I know you are God. Caught up that little key that Peter had on the Mount of Transfiguration. Now what a privilege to live in such a recognition, for as with an individual, so with a nation. And as with the nations, so with all nations combined, 
for that which is applicable and operative for one and to one is operative and expressive and applicable to each and every one. Take these thoughts to consideration and I will not need to tell you again in the singing of that little composition. I know you are God to get it in your heart for if you get it in your heart or right and it goes out from your heart as it did from Simon's heart flesh and blood did not reveal this unto thee Simon but my father said he which is in heaven when it came from the heart by the spirit or came to and within the heart by the spirit and by the spiritual conviction from the heart the word was fulfilled in that it had said since then if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth thou shalt be saved it must be from the heart and not just from the head Wonderful. that heart conviction that genuine heart conviction and spiritual awakening will solve your every problem and will adjust all matters satisfactorily for you and every adverse and undesirable condition will be dispelled at the presence of your Lord and your Savior, your great Creator. I know you are God. That is something to know, isn't it? Yes. It is worth more than billions and yes. billions of tons of cure. For such a conviction will solve every problem and will adjust matters satisfactorily for you. That was given May 16th and 17th, 1948.
everyone. I thought in connection with that song we would just refresh our minds with the parable of the ten virgins as found in chapter 25 of St. Matthew. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. Mm -hmm. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Mm -hmm. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Mm -hmm. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Wonderful. And I say, Watch, therefore, for you know not the hour when God, our Father, comes.